There are 206 bones in the human body and in this video, I shall be attempting to name all, all of, of them. them. These bones are part of the human endoskeleton, which forms what is known as the skeletal system, providing five main functions. The skeletal system provides shape, stability, protects your internal organs, produces blood cells, and forms an area for muscles to attach, aiding in locomotion. So I have opened up a quiz on my computer on the website called Sparkle, on which I will be naming all the 206 bones. As you can see, there are only 63 things I need to name, as most bones are either repeated twice or more. So we'll name them section by section, starting out with the skull, which has 22 bones, 14 facial and 8 cranial bones. The skull basically protects your brain and houses your main sensory organs, your eyes, nose and ears. So let's start out naming those bones. Starting out with the occipital, the parietal, temporal, which houses your hearing organs, frontal bone, sphenoid, which has nerve tunnels, ethmoid, uh, nasal, which forms the external surface of the nasal cavity, maxilla, which houses your teeth in the upper jaw, lacrimal, which supports the lacrimal apparatus, basically the gland which secretes tears, zygomatic, palatine, which builds oral, nasal and orbit cavities. Next we have the conche or the inferior nasal concha which basically increases surface area for warming and humidification of air and protects your sinuses. Then the vomer, hyoid, mandible which aids in mastication or chewing as it supports the teeth on the lower jaw. Next we come to the three ear bones, the malleus, incus and stapes. The stapes is the smallest bone in the human body. Next, let's move on to the vertebral column, which contains 33 vertebrae. There are many types of vertebrae. The seven cervical vertebrae, the 12 thoracic vertebrae, which are long and slender spines. Then the five lumbar vertebrae, which is your body's center of balance and hence aids in back stability. The sacrum, which there are five of and it stabilizes the pelvis. And then the coccygeal vertebrae, which on the squeeze is known as the coccyx. There are four coccygeal vertebrae and they are basically what is left over of our ancestors tails. Obviously other vertebrates contain more than four coccygeal vertebrae. Next, we move on to the arm bones. There are 54 total arm bones with 27 per arm. All right, we have the shoulder blades, which are the scapula, then the collarbone, also one of the most brittle bones in your body called the clavicle. Then your main arm, the longest bone above the torso known as the humerus. And then two bones over here, which help rotate the wrist called the radius and ulna. And now we are going to name all these eight carpels. Scaphoid, lunate, triquetrum, pisiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamate. The carpels basically allow for vertical movement of your wrist. Now we have the metacarpels. There are five of them and they don't have very unique names. They're just called metacarpals. They allow for connection of muscles and tendons which move your fingers, also known as phalanges. So there are three types of phalanges. The proximal phalanges, intermediate phalanges and distal phalanges. And here's something interesting about the phalanges. Not only are your thumbs fingers, but also so are your toes. Is that like all thumbs or fingers, but not all fingers or thumbs? Surprisingly, yes. Now let's move on to the rib cage. There are a total of 24 ribs and one extra bone. So there are three types of ribs. 
the true ribs which connect to what is known as the sternum false ribs which are connected to thoracic vertebrae and finally floating ribs pretty obvious meaning now let's name the three hip bones which together form the pelvis the hip bones basically protect your excretory system and house your reproductive organs so we have the ilium ischium and pubis and your legs are obviously attached to the pubis. So let's start off naming the leg bones. We have the femur, which is the longest bone in the human body. The patella, the patella is the kneecap and when the femur and tibia attach to the patella, they form a hinge joint, which is your knee. There is also another thin bone at the bottom of your leg within the calf region known as the fibula which basically provides stability to your foot and now that we've named the main bones of the foot let's start off with the tarsals the tarsals basically help in distribution and carrying of weight during locomotion of course so we have the calcaneus talus navicular and then these three tarsals known as the cuneiforms intermediate cuneiform medial cuneiform and lateral cuneiform which form the arch of the foot and then the cuboid bone and now we move on to the final bones which are the metatarsals which aid in force absorption and act as levers and metatarsals again don't have special names there we go perfect score so in a future video i will be explaining the function of all of these bones within the human body so for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can watch me naming all the muscles in the future this is abse signing out happy halloween and goodbye